Hello. So I just wanted to do a quick flip of my Hobonichi Weeks Mega. It's the sneaker version, so it is the shorter one. And I'm using this as a health, fitness, and food log. So this cover that I have it in was made by one of the people that I follow on Instagram. And she is amazing. She custom made this for me for the Sneaker Weeks um, Mega, and I love it. So I just put stickers on it because it is being used as health, fitness, and food. I just tried to make it like positive, you know, upbuilding quotes and things like that. So the way that I'm using this for the yearly view, what I'm doing is a weight tracker in these spaces down here for each month and then tracking my female time here. So the start and stop. So I'll just have a quick glance of, you know, everything like that that I need for doctor's appointments when they ask you things like that. Um, so this will give me a good view um, to see where I am at and how I am progressing. So what I did was I created February's monthly because I have information on my December and January that I don't want seen. But the way that I'm using this is I'll just put like goals over here and then I'll just put some washi tape, you know, some little stickers, happy, positive little images. So I'll just give myself reminders, stay focused on the goal, progress, not perfection. I've done this before. I can do it again. And then just this little sticker here just to indicate the end of the month. So then I'll just find something to put here or write in, you know, a monthly reflection or something like that. So the way that I'm using it on the daily is I will track my vitamins, B, C, and D. The way I have this worked out in the corner, lower corner, right side of every day is if I exercise. So if I exercise that day, I will put a check mark. If I do not, I will put an X. And then if I do weigh myself, I'll just fill it in here. So it's another view for me. And then I also, for health reasons and things like that, I do track intimacy. So I put that in the space here. So this is like my monthly view where it will track vitamins, exercise, weight, and intimacy. That's the monthly view. Now on the weekly view, I've been using this since December. And because it's the 2022, it started with December. So the way that I have, well, end of November, but December starts right here. So the way that I have it set up is over here on this side, I will do breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. I don't always eat on every meal. I do not always snack throughout the day. I cover the bottom up with washi every week. I put the week up here, what it is, stats, and then what the week is. So that is on the left side, all of the food. And then it gives me a better idea like, okay, you had a lot of Coca-Cola this week. You didn't drink enough water. So I like looking at this view like this. So my stats, I get from the app on my phone because I have the Apple Watch. So I go into like the fitness app and I get all of my numbers here. So I keep track of how many calories I'm burning for the day out of my goal, my minutes of exercise, how many hours I stood, my steps, my distance, and how many flights I've climbed total. So it's interesting for me to look at these because when I am at work, I'm getting in a lot more steps. If I'm working from home, that was a work from home day. So it's a lot less. So it gives me a better idea of, you know, how much I'm moving. If I need to track my blood pressure and my sugar, that goes in here because I've been having some health issues. Um, my blood pressure has been high. My sugar has been high some days. So I can look at it. If I had a headache, I know why. So it, I don't track it every day. I'm not, I don't go crazy with this, but if I do have a weird headache and I know that my blood pressure is off, I will go in and I'll check it and I'll log it. So a lot of these you'll see over the weeks are blank because if I'm feeling fine, I don't check it. And then over here is water. So I draw my little circles in. Sometimes I forget. I do drink water every day, a minimum of two glasses. I know that's awful, but um, sometimes I forget to log that. But for the most part, I stay pretty consistent with it. Um, I also track my foods in my fitness pal. So if there is a day like where I forget to do something, I do have record of it. It's just, I like to look at this and I fill it out as I'm sitting at my work desk. 
at home. Um, I work from home every day. I do half of my day in the office and then the other half at home. So, you know, I know over the past couple of weeks, I've gone through, you know, some <sighs> feelings of, you know, loneliness, depression sort of thing. So my foods have not been great. Um, I know that's something I need to work on, but that's why I like seeing this view like this because it gives me a, an overall picture of everything. So it's been a while. Like I probably should be tracking my blood pressure more, especially not so much my sugar, but my blood pressure definitely. But I am pretty consistent in the way that I do it. I like this view. It really works for me. So this is what I'm using as health, fitness, and food log and I hope that was helpful for anybody that had any questions on how you could possibly use it. Um, I do have this from, and I know this was from Caden's mom plans on Instagram. Um, I had that in my other Hobonichi that I was using as a weekly planner, um, but I love it. I have the today one in my little commonplace book that I switched to using in there, but if anybody has any questions, just let me know, but this has been working very, very well for me.